What the rest of you to do is you learn about inside sources. What I want you to do is to get into groups of just two or three and come up with who would be the inside sources you'd want to talk with if you wanted to start uh, an event uh, venue. Okay, now your, your idea of an event venue is a place where people could come for um, retreats or for weddings or for things like this. Okay, if you wanted to learn a lot about event venues, who would be the inside sources you'd want to talk with? And I want you to come up with all the ones you can come up with. And then also the second thing to do is if you wanted to be a consultant for CSAs and you wanted to really learn about CSAs, what their needs were, things like this, where would be the inside sources for CSAs? Yeah. Confederate States of America. <laughs> no, it's not. It's community supported agriculture. Com community supported agriculture. And the reason I say that is, is my, my brother and his wife, uh, we, we, we lived in D.C. one time and they came up and we were visiting and, and at one point uh, my sister-in-law said, and what do you miss about Ithaca? Because we were on leave uh, in, um, for the prior administration for a year and a half. My wife goes, she goes, you know what I really miss is I, 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 miss, I miss the local CSA. Because, you know, we were really involved with that and we'd get together and it's really, it was really, it was really sort of a, a fun underground movement. People didn't know about it. And my sister was becoming pale, even more pale. Really, really. And uh, she said, CSA. And my wife goes, yeah, you know, community supported agriculture. And she thought, Confederate States of America. Well, she's from Virginia, so you know. <laughs> You belong to? Does everyone know what CSA is? <laughs> oh. Take it away, Ruth. Um, a local CSA is, uh, usually it's a um, farm in the area that sells <clears throat> shares of their profits and shares in their business. So they have a farm, they need support, so they sell out shares of their business. You can buy in for $250 and you'll get X amount of produce when the you know, produce comes due in the fall. Um, you can also come and work at the place for a share, part of the share. It's uh, just it's community agriculture and the fact that they're supporting local, um, local workers, local farms. Your agri footprint is much smaller because you're dealing with the local produce. Um, and it's just a way of getting back to some of our good, good food at a decent price. So, so Yeah. And you don't have a choice of what they bring you. They just they bring you kale and turnips. That's what you have. There are also some there are some meat slash. <coughs> All right. So you've got about uh, about five minutes to work on these two things, come up with as many inside sources as you can for the two of those. And we'll regroup. Well come on up. Showing up with like a, um, 
little wrist corsages and they're like violet dresses. And they're just the planners. Like the product hasn't even started just showing up. Good. Oh yeah, actually good, good DJs. Like the e-board for Greek life? I'm sorry? The like executive board for Greek life? Oh, excellent. And it's Teresia. Okay, the, uh, I don't know what I got. Is it called IFT or what did you call it? E-board. I just said the e-board executive. Oh, yeah, oh, e-board. E-board for Greek life. Okay. Kia. Awesome. Maria. What? what are you sitting like in a... Oh, my God, okay. Oh, yeah, this is right behind you. I, I thought, okay, good, good. Like You're sitting like in the dark. Ooh. <laughs> okay, community leaders like from churches and stuff? Yeah, 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 yeah. Community leaders. Okay, good job. Good job, folks. Note to self. Write these down. <laughs> <laughs> well, now what we're going to do is we're going to look at marketing and something. We want to learn about CSAs, what can be done for CSA. I guess we can talk to CSAs, but who would be some other insight sources who would know more about CSAs than maybe CSAs themselves? Yeah. People who buy locally, like Mandibles. I'm sorry? Uh, like, people who buy locally, like Mandibles. Oh, yeah, like uh, businesses that buy locally. <coughs> Tell me your name, please. Stephanie. Beth Bethany? Stephanie. Stephanie. Thank you, Stephanie. Okay, local uh, food retailers. Yeah, okay, that's great. Like Mandel's, that's a great example. Yeah. Um, the farmers market, like in oh, yeah. Yeah. Like Mandel's Farmers Market. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
What would you do? You know, I'm just going to go around. Bing, 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 bing. So keep your hand up. Yeah, sir? Um, golf caddies. Golf caddies, great. That's nice. Kenny? Um, the country club, something like valets or something. Country club valets, yeah, yeah. We, all, we, we know all those from caddy shacks, and we know those yeah. things exist. Okay, yes? Starters or course strangers? Was this a starter? Starter would be a ticket ticket for mine. Oh, yeah, I got it. That starter? Okay, this one, yeah, back there? Golf club salespeople. Oh, people yeah. sell, like, what? Like, golf clubs and yeah. stuff? Cool. Yeah, at golf clubs, like, the people in the shower, and things like that. I don't know. Like, <laughs> 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 it's just all the people gossiping in, like, the spa area. Yeah, this, this is funny. So, do you have a name? <laughs> I think more at the pro level, but like television announcer or broadcasters who uh, call golf events. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Access those guys. Yeah. <coughs> What's that? <coughs> Instructors. Good. Like club pros. <coughs> Going on again. Anybody else? Okay, very good. Now let's look at Fortune 500 CEOs. <coughs> Let me just call them say, Steve, it's me, Kevin, how's it going? Steve Jobs will not be answering your phone call today. So how are we going to learn about Steve? Yes? Secretary. This is the secretary, good. Company jet pilot. Company jet pilot, so these guys aren't flying coach with us, right? <laughs> They're senior vice presidents. Senior vice presidents might be a little more accessible, I think. They're driver. The driver, yeah. And was that what you were going to say too, the driver? Yes. Good, good, good. Spouses. Spouses, good. Going around again? Oh. They were on an athletic team. Yeah. I was reading about them and it seems like a lot of people are working five hundred CEOs are competitive And they often drop out too. It's crazy. crazy. They're lawyers or PR. Good. For me. Like the Fortune magazine editor? I'm sorry, The Fortune magazine editor? Oh yeah, outstanding. Yeah, some of the writers of these magazines. That is that's incredible. Um, there's, no, there's a few different circumstances when, when we've used columnists as inside sources. Outstanding idea. Okay, early adopters of stereo equipment. And we're not talking about you know buying your new iPod for $180. We're talking about the whacked out people that are the first people to buy CD players when they came out in 1986. We're talking about the, the first person to buy the big Mongo $3,000 stereo that's has holograms dance above it. That was good people, okay? How do we learn about these people? DJs. DJs, very good. Uh, music producers. Music producers? Oh, electronic store employees? Yeah, I should like go to Best Buy and ask those guys. Best Buy? Um, Just that, is, was, is Best Buy where we go? Who's getting inside sources? Mm -hmm. No, we probably want to go where else? Highway like, High Five. Huge. You know, I remember when I, I, I moved here a number of years ago, I was, I was out at Best Buy, I don't know, buying a router or something for the house or something like that. And we went up there and <laughs> a guy in front of me was just really frustrated for having a weight, I guess. And he's about my age, and a person kind of bounces up and he goes, hello, a little blue Best Buy. <laughs> hello, can I help you? And he goes, I really doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think was really snarky, but I'm still going. But I you when you go high in the stereo dealer, because the other people really whacked out about these things too, right? Good. Who else do you want to look at inside sources for these stereo people? Oh, wait. Meg. No. Not Your name is? Boya. Boya, thanks, thanks. Club owners, okay? People who coordinate and battle the band. Oh, very good. And uh, we did something similar to this, and it wasn't, it wasn't stairs, but it was, it was high in electronics, and that's when we did do what you said. We found people write the, column, the columnists and the reviews and stuff. And I know there's a, if you guys read uh, the Wall Street Journal or USA Today and things like that, and the, um, the stereo uh, and computer critics, we do those things. We use those in different things too. Very good. Affluent women. How do we know from affluent women? We'll go the other way around. Let's start with May first. Um, 
spa or a like, hair salon, like people who work there? Yeah, 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 Lauren. Uh, nannies? Nannies, very good. Housekeepers? Housekeepers? <laughs> yes. Um, maybe a place like Saks Fifth Avenue or like an upscale store? Oh, I was, who, who's talking about? Uh, oh, yeah, I answered. What do you say? Like Saks Fifth Avenue or like an upscale well, store? Oh, Saks Fifth Avenue, very good, very good, yes. Do you like little boutique stores too? Oh, those silly little stores that you cannot figure out how they ever stay in business other than, than it's <laughs> some effort to stay out of the home. Yeah, stay with the home. Yeah, very good. The philanthropist that I work with? The, the people you work with? The philanthropist that? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That worked really good. That worked really well. Yeah. Personal shoppers? People who guide them around the store to help them pick things out? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, personal shoppers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, very good. Have you guys ever worked with all those personal shoppers before? I, I, that just seems like a real unusual thing. Like shop with your mom again. <laughs> it's, okay. it's on sale. <laughs> yes? Um, I think the tennis instructors or? Yeah, very good. Tennis instructors. Personal trainers. Personal trainers, outstanding. <laughs> um, one, this, this is actually one of them that we did one time. Um, <coughs> We got a call from from a uh, a large the market share leader of barbecue sauce. How many of those do you know? <laughs> okay, so you guess which one it is. That's right. And and they had some questions about um, things that they could do to attract people who are uh, doing using other brands of barbecue sauce to move over and, and use this new line extension they're thinking about. And so, we had to fly out to the West Coast to do this and to uh, have a preliminary talk. We had three days to figure out, to try to get some initial insights about barbecue, people barbecue, so that when you're in this initial meeting, it wouldn't look like, so we just wouldn't be taking notes and going, uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. So we did this sort of prophylactically, learned all this stuff, that we can just from inside sources in three days, so we went out there, and looked like semi geniuses, even though three and a half days earlier we were total dorks. Okay. You've got three days to learn about people who barbecue. Who are the inside sources who are going to give you the dirt? Yeah, starting with, starting with you, uh, Tresia. Uh, neighbors of people who barbecue? Neighbors barbecue? Mm -hmm. Butchers. Butchers! Actually, bing, 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 that was the number two answer. Yeah, very good. There are two, two of these are just off-scale helpful. Butchers were one of them. Firefighters? Oh, firefighters, good. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Yeah, very good. I love it. Uh, that's a, that's a very good. Okay, good. Uh, Chef, what do you back? The, like, the people who compete in those, like, barbecue competitions, like, who, like, Okay. You know, who like who can make the best barbecue that are on like Food Network those shows? Like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Very, very cool. Yeah. Uh, spouses. Spouses, good. Tell me, yeah, Tell me. Right. Yeah. Custom grill makers. Custom grill makers. Maybe Sears employees who work in the outdoor living department. Very good. Yeah. Barbecue right. barbecue. Oh yeah, yeah. So the two uh, we we talked to a bunch of people, but the two that were most valuable was butchers. Actually, now that I remember, were were the most helpful. When it came, um, but not like not like a butcher at PNC or at Wegmans, but like a butcher from the from stores that only sell meat. They're great, yeah. And then the salespeople were the other the other group. Then you talked about the extreme um, cooking. We did something last year in, in class. There's a there's a on TV. There's something called Modern Marvels. I think it's on the yeah. History Channel, Channel. And they did an episode on eating competitions. You know, like that those hot dog Nathan's. <laughs> And since we had done some research on it, they came and they filmed almost the whole episode. I mean, the, I think the best part of the, that episode here. And we did it with our class. We had an eating competition with the people in our class. It was really kind of neat. Actually, go, if you go on uh, YouTube and you type in like eating competitions or Cornell or my name, they'll have these, these, these kind of fun little videos of, of your predecessors last year eating chicken wings till they blow up. 